Hello students, how are you? Today let us see intramolecular Woods reaction. In my previous video, I have explained about the Woods reaction. What is Woods reaction? It is the reaction of alkyl halides with sodium metal in dry ether to get an alkane with double the number of carbon atoms. If we take a single type of alkyl halide and re react it with sodium metal in dry ether, to get an alkane with double the number. If we take methyl halide, we get an alkane with two carbons that is a ethane. That is the reaction between two different molecules that is the intermolecular Woods reaction. Now let us see intramolecular Woods reaction. Intra means within the molecule. Within the molecule, if two halogen atoms are present, that means it should be a dihalide. It should be a dihalide, okay. Now, if we take a dihalide, 1, 2 dihalide, 1, 2 dihalide is in this 2 halogen atoms will be on the adjacent carbon atoms. 2 halogen atoms are on the adjacent carbon atoms which is known as 1, 2 dihalide. This 1,2 dihalide on reaction with sodium metal in dry ether gives an alkene. It is an alkene. Now here there is already a sig sigma bond existing in between the carbon atoms. And by the elimination of these halogen free radicals, there will be free radical generation on the adjacent carbon atoms. These two free radical sites will join together to form a pi bond. That is why it results in the formation of an alkene. Okay, students, 1, 2 dihalides, that means vicinal dihalides on reaction with sodium metal in dry ether, that is on Woods reaction, gives alkenes. This is a vicinal dihalide. Okay. If we take terminal dihalides, terminal dihalides may be 1, 3, 1, 4 or 1, 5. That means if we increase the number of carbon atoms, these they will result in 1, 3, 1, 4 or 1, 5 dihalides. What they give? Let us see. If we take 1, 3 dihalide, CH2, 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 3 carbon and X on first and third carbon atoms. If they are reacted with sodium metal in dry ether, what happens? These two halogen, it is a homolytic cleavage which results in the formation of free radical sites on the terminal carbon atoms. Here, there is no bond between the first and third carbon atom. So, these two free radicals join together to form a new sigma bond which results in cyclic compound. Okay. So, it is a three carbon compound which results in the formation of cyclo propane. Uh, if you take 1, 4 or 1, 5 dihalide, let us take 1, 4 dihalide. CH2, 4 carbon chain and halogen atoms on the terminal carbon atoms. What they result? The bonds will be broken homolytically to form the free radical sites on the terminal carbon atoms. These two free radicals will join together to form cyclobutane. Okay, students. So, this is the intramolecular Woods reaction which results in different products. Okay. Let us see some more examples which are useful for the entrance examinations. Students, now let us see these reactions. This is an unsaturated dihalide. It is an alkene with two halogen atoms on the terminal carbon atoms. Now, when it is reacted with sodium metal in dry ether, what happens? These bonds will be broken and they form the free radical sites on the terminal carbon atoms. What we expect? These two free radical sites join together to form an cycloalkene, but that is not the case. That is not the case. Here, it is a primary free radical. This is also a primary free radical, but this is the secondary carbon. This pi bond is broken 
the pi bond will be broken and this pi bond breaks homolytically to form a free radical site on the middle carbon atoms, the second and third carbon atoms. So, it results in the formation of a pi bond between the first to second and third fourth carbon atoms. The pi bond between second and third carbon atoms are is broken and it forms two double bonds in between 1, 2 and 3, 4 which results in the formation of a conjugated diene. Conjugated dienes are more stable, we know that. So, it forms CH2 double bond CH single bond CH double bond CH2. It is 1,3 butadiene which is a conjugated diene. So, this will be the product when this kind of dihalide, unsaturated dihalide is undergoing Wood's reaction, it forms a diene. Okay, students, this is the product. Now, let us see the another structure. This is a cyclic unsaturated dihalide. It is a cyclic, a cyclic compound with one unsaturation and two halogen atoms adjacently present. Now what we expect? These bonds will be broken and free radical site will be generated on the adjacent carbon atoms. What we expect? We expect to form a double bond between these two carbon atoms. But that is not the case. This is this is an anti-aromatic compound. It is an anti-aromatic. Aromatic compounds are more stable, but anti-aromatic compounds are unstable. So, what happens is, when these two free radicals are formed, it will not undergo intramolecular Wood's reaction. It undergoes intermolecular Wood's reaction. That means it combines with the same kind of molecule that is plus Br, Br and these two also will be broken homolytically and free radical site is generated on the adjacent carbon atom, these two join, In, intermolecular Wood's reaction will be resulting here to form this molecule. This is intermolecular Wood's reaction, intermolecular Wood's reaction. Then why it is undergoing intermolecular Wood's reaction? If intramolecular Wood's reaction is possible, always intramolecular Wood's reaction is more preferable over intermolecular Wood's reaction. But here what is happening is on, the, on undergoing intramolecular Wood's reaction, it is forming an unstable compound. So, if it undergoes intermolecular Wood's reaction, it is forming more stable compound. This is a stable compound. It is non-aromatic. It is non-aromatic which is more stable over anti-aromatic compound. So, this is the product of Wood's reaction of this compound. When this compound undergoes Wood's reaction, this will be the product. This is not the product. Okay, students. Now let us do the Wood's reaction for a trihalide, okay. Now here three halogen atoms are present on alternate carbon atoms. These will break to generate free radical sites on 1, 3 and 5 carbon atoms, 1, 3 and 5 carbon atoms. In this molecule there are three free radical sites. The three free radical sites which free radicals will join together to form a cyclic compound. If these two free radicals join, it results in the formation of cyclopropane and if terminal free radicals join, they form 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a 5 membered ring compound. 
the five membered rings are more stable over the three membered rings the stability of rings are 6 greater than 7 greater than 5 greater than 4 3 this is the stability of cycloalkanes with these carbon atoms so when these terminal free radicals join it results in the formation of a five membered ring so they join together to form a terminal uh, a five membered ring with free radical site on one of the carbon atoms we can put the free radical site here now one free radical site is residing these two free radicals are joined these two are joined together to form a ring compound but this is residing as it is now what happens now it undergoes intermolecular woods reaction it undergoes intermolecular woods reaction first intramolecular woods reaction and then it combines with another free radical of such kind the same kind so plus again a five member free radical so these two will join together to form this molecule first this is intra intramolecular woods reaction now it is intermolecular woods reaction so this will be the final product if a trihalide is undergoing woods reaction okay students hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel i am going to upload more videos which are useful for the entrance examinations thank you have a nice day